And I think we should also talk a little bit next year as well. Uh, we got to kind of pull through. So. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I guess just start off with more. Um, I guess. Uh, what was, I guess how was how did we do as far as getting word out about the event this year? I felt good about it uh, because you know I got a direct email <laughs> that said, "Hey, it's they're coming right around the corner here. Yeah, get signed up." So I did. You were signed up last year too. Uh -huh. so. uh, okay, so that makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. Which I put the disclaimer at the very bottom in case some people that like space and don't want to email us. So I put a little disclaimer at the bottom yeah. saying, if you, if you were on this list because you registered in it three years here, um, we don't want to email back and take out those. Yeah. Yeah. That's not me. That's right. So direct email. Yeah. Definitely works. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else here? Uh, I could have uh, done more like uh, to spread news around the KSU campus. Uh, you personally assume? Yeah, uh, well, last year I just put up uh, several flyers and uh, kind of informed a few clubs that might be interested in it, but this year I didn't really have the chance to. When did you hear about it? Mm -hmm. So we have like, following the Facebook page, and I think I registered when it first got posted on that. Okay, so that was I think, back in February. Pretty close, maybe, maybe it was March. Yeah. Would, it, would it have been easier for you if we had uh, maybe posted a flyer on the website for people that I'm going to Yeah, like a PDF. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah there are right. some that uh, could have been able to see what's on the last one. I will definitely bring that for next year as well. We can get something because that's out. how I wound up bringing the ones for the space conference in LA uh -huh. was because somebody, well, the Oklahoma group yeah. sent it, said, Would you please print these out and put, hand them out to wherever you thought? And I thought, well, that seemed like a good place to. You know, I might even have like a, a, a secondary uh, flyer wiki where people can like, I get if, if they have an idea for, for a flyer design, they can just post a, oh, a, a, a link to, to their image on image URL or something, mm -hmm. or, or they have the whole flyer. Uh, that would work. Because all we did with this year's flyers, we just took last year's, changed the dates, <laughs> and so, no. If it works, why fix it? That's <laughs> right. That is right. I would probably use a very similar type of website next year. Mm -hmm. There was a few things on there which you never did get a chance to use, like the nearby aspect. It's Kansas. Some people can't make it all. Did you guys get a chance to look at that? Because no. um, I'm sure most people, most people here have lots. Yeah. But there are people that carpool. It's a carpool option. Mm -hmm. Where people have options to like, hey, I live in Kansas, uh, and um, this is safe. I don't think so. I mean, Kansas City. I live in Kansas City, and it's a major metro area. And most people don't, when they think of driving long distance, they don't they like the idea of going to Hutchins. That's too long for them. In the middle of nowhere in Kansas, that's just a short ride down the road. Right? Mm -hmm. Three hours is nothing. Uh, probably the same thing. Well, of course, that's, that's the difference between somebody in a plain state and somebody in a more Absolutely. A, a, a urban area. You don't measure by miles, you measure by minutes where you're yes. going. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about three, where is it? Oh, it's about three miles down the road here. <laughs> or, three, or three hours down the road, yeah. Exactly. Um, but I figured that would be a good thing for more urban areas. I can't say yeah, that. Yeah. Talks and like that. So we're going to keep one good when you have to drive almost five hours to get out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, like somebody to pick up on the way to help yeah, yeah. gas it, too. Yeah. So people will know about the race for two months five and have a discussion of what is it two months five. I don't have to do that. So well, what else maybe it was on the road? That's sad. Um, it was a can't make it option if you can't make it. Um, it, was also, it was. I think I oh I won my version. I must have forgot to go back on. Oops. It, anyways, it was basically somebody from uh, the space of Europe or Stuttgart, the, the German city. Stuttgart. Stuttgart. She's the Stuttgart? What she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, the Germans, I just can't speak it. <laughs> um, but they had an idea for us called 60 Seconds to Land. And it's basically a one minute video that you put closer to YouTube with a simple name or something like that. We play it here, so it's appropriate. Uh -huh. um, we play it here, which is like 10 minutes. And I thought you dropped it. Say your piece. You can't say it. Yeah, you can be anywhere. Nixon, you want. it's all your fault. <laughs> Space appropriate, obviously. No, he, oh, yes, he's yes, the, right. he was the one that canceled all of that all stuff. Yeah. I, that was one of the things I really liked about the Columbia Accident Investigation Board report. They basically blamed it on Nixon as well. <laughs> it's, <funny>. it's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's easy that way, right? Uh -huh. uh, 
Um, what else do you like about my blog post? The video, I did not have time to make a second video, obviously, um, for what Space of Kansas was, but again, why fix it doesn't work um, with uh, Space of DC and the video. Did you guys end up watching that video? No. Well, I already knew. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a chance, let me look at the letters in space. Let's see. Which we might always try to make one since we actually have pictures of this year. This year, yeah. No, that's why we were trying to take some more pictures yeah. of things this year. We want to get in a group video. Of work on the exactly. Yeah, we'll get a picture of things too. Well, yeah. If you don't want to. If you can opt Well, if you can, if you can survive my picture on the space on there, I, I don't know. Um, so is the uh, space of Kansas City the only other, like, one remotely close by? There's no space of Kansas City. Space. I thought oh. you said space of KC. Oh, no, 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 no. no. So DC. DC. Uh, ah, yeah. I think um, like, no, they have like space up in uh, San Diego. That's it. Yeah, that's, unfortunately, that's where our live stream is right now because the person who does that uh, live video is waiting for the cast of the house for us. <laughs> that's okay. It was mostly for people who already knew that, anyways. Um, but there's space, right now, there's a uh, space that's going on in Seattle. As we speak, they give us a shout out on uh, Twitter, by the way. Hi, so, Seattle, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're doing a live stream, though. They might be, but I don't think they are. But that's one I use to speak to the cast. So. But um, so there's set, what they? they have one for San Francisco, Houston, uh, which they use the problem. San, 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 San Diego as well, LA. Boston. Austin? Boston. 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 <laughs> Boston. Then there's space up Paris here a couple of weeks ago. Probably since last week. Yeah. I think that's coming up. Regardless, it's going to be big. Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. In Germany, general, one in Germany, one in Canada. So it's spreading. It started with just one in San Diego. Was it LA? Or was it San Diego? Space in San Diego was the very first one. Um, just when it was space at that time, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and, it's, and that was in 2010, I believe. And the next year, there was a few more. And in 2011, it exploded with uh, not only us, Kansas, and our own, but we were still in our seats. And uh, this year it's just big. So it's just harder here in Kansas because distances and buildings and presence. We pretty much are a bunch of space geeks getting together to talk about space and geek out. And see, last year the, there was a guy from NASA yes. who had been one of the KU. Yes, you call it KU. He kind of gave the opening. Oh, yeah, but this was. You this mean the guy talking about like grounds? The, the, the crowdsourcing the satellite. Yeah, um, yeah. I think he came up from Houston, possibly. Yeah, but he had been up at KU for something. Was it? But he had been, the only reason he showed up here was because he'd been someplace else in Kansas, heard about it, yeah. and stopped by. And their idea was NASA buys the, sat the satellite bus and buys the rocket, and then everybody else puts their experiments on it. And, you know, basically. Robert Zuber had a similar idea for uh, Mars. Uh, yeah. Which basically NASA buys up a certain amount of launch vehicles. This is simply a uh -huh. scale. NASA buys up a certain amount of launch vehicles that are launched on time, no matter what, full or not full, mm -hmm. into space. You, you know, because there's space. that good opportunity about once every two years, let's go. Whether, it's, once every, yeah. whether it's Mars or whether it's mm -hmm. somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go regardless of whether full or not, so you get the opportunity to go to the deep deep way So. Yeah. Um, that's off topic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think we were, were there any other questions you got as far as getting things set up sure. this year? What could we um, what could have been done better this year? There are just gaping holes. I don't think of anything. I know, I think it's just a matter of uh, lead time and getting creative about spreading the word. Creating about spreading the word. Yeah, I mean the only thing I could see that might have helped to, I, I don't know if it would, I don't know if we lost anybody, because I didn't know it was up here, but there had been some signage on one of the poles or something. I space think it was. Was, was, was there? Did I? Oh, yeah, okay, there's there's see, I missed it. Of course I knew where it was going, so. Yeah, it's yeah. Except this year, it's in this room. Yeah, it's still yeah. over there, yeah. Yeah, when we came in, the, uh, the first lady that was here, what did, did you you go up to the desk, or was uh, it one of the, the? We came inside and she was like walking toward the door, and 
Um, well, I guess not everyone knows because we, uh, the main person who worked with uh, here was uh, uh, Katie. Yeah, I so, um, think she told just the staff that was working in the morning. Probably not everybody or the help. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. Well, that would be something that could be better than the, the, yeah. the, everybody in the Cosmosphere knows that they're having something. And that's another, it's one of the bad things about being su as successful as they are. They do so many things. Okay. Uh, yeah. the room. Yeah, like like <laughs> I, I talked to one of the guys that I know uh, who uh, at, in the uh, snack bar down there. And because uh, I'd seen him earlier and I wondered why, I thought he might be doing part of this. And he said that he was doing a tour of teachers. And uh, you know, you saw all the scouts running around. And that's pretty common. There's something going on every weekend. At least this wasn't one of the big scout weekends where there would be, you know, probably 100 or 200 kids running around shooting off rockets downstairs and stuff. And say, just one troop. Yeah, yeah I just one troop this time. And, uh, but, uh, you know, of course, on the other hand, you would be able to tell that by the parking that you drove up. And <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I think that would be something useful that everybody at the Cosmosphere understood that there was yeah. this was going on and if somebody needed directions where to go. Yeah. I think it was a little bit of a bigger deal last year than some. That, by the way, that we get all of this for free at Cosmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, and as long as it's an open weekend, they'll let us use it. Um, which I guess is another point to uh, bring up. Um, it, it, even though we get it for free, we still have to spend money to get pizza and get drinks and some other stuff here. So donations are always greatly appreciated. We are able to we try to do like sponsorships. Um, that's well, hard to do. It yeah. is hard to do the A how we be starting off. Well plus uh, uh, you know most uh, donorship things are a year and a half out. Most of yeah, you gotta promote now for, for a year you know, for two years. If you, you started promoting now, you wouldn't have probably not an, enough time for next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, which leads to my next question is last year we had it waiting. Well, this year, the reason why we chose April 13th this year was because of the day after the reason that they had um, the 52nd anniversary of humans in space. Um, we originally were hoping to be able to do a space camp overnight thing. Oh, so yeah. that would be cool, but it might take about six percent. Okay, we also still be cool. Yeah, we also need minimum twenty-five people. Right. right. And I could, there was no way I could guarantee that. So right. I'm like, we better not even tell the um, So that would be something we had to find. That was like we had to figure that out within a week at that time. Uh -huh. We find that now we might be able to right. get right. an idea about that. I would like to do that next year. What's April twelfth next year? Sorry. Is that? Oh, it's a good. Well, with next year, we could plan a multi day space like as well. Uh -huh. We get in our people. Right. Um, come, think, come help us celebrate the Yuri's night. We can have a Friday night, just uh, in general, you know, afternoon. And one of the things that if it, if it helps bring in people, you know, that they want to do something while they're here, the, with the remodeling of the IMAX and making it digital, they are playing basically second run movies, but you know, like I think right now they were promoting uh, uh, no, no, uh, The Rock, uh, G.I. Joe, uh, yeah, uh, so they are doing theatrical movies after the documentaries are done during the day, they are having theatrical movies at night. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's another added incentive to somebody who's coming here Hey, I, I, uh, it's a blast watching it in the dome. You know, anything in the dome is a blast. Yeah. And there's not very many IMAX domes because uh, originally, I think this was number six in the nation uh, of the domes, and I'm not sure they built any more after that. <laughs> Do you know, I'm just so curious what this 3D component meant. Okay, was it two, uh, digital component meant this 3D? No, that's not. That is not right now. Because it would have been nice to see how long it would have been like that. Yeah. The spatial problems with the dome. Is there, um, the Yuri's not a site, but there have been a potential better time to do this thing. April, is there a good time? I have tried to find good times to do stuff over the years. There is no good time to Just do stuff over the years. You don't show up and show up. And you will always have people who say, 
Well, if you only had it. So, no, I, I, I really truly believe you just have to choose when you want to do it and do it. Because so whatever else you do, you're, you're going to run into something else. Somebody's going to have a vacation. Somebody's going to have a baby. Somebody's going to yeah. have a dog, have kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I might be worried. <laughs> We might go to that. <laughs> yeah. We'll scream that line. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, they let us tour after hours for the first two weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was very nice. Because it was well, Sunday, and Sunday is we must have been here. It was the entire time. So that was really nice. But I'm totally fine with the agent of all the packet. We had multiple days too. We had plenty of Oh, yeah. And, and, and if, if, if you built that into the program on a multiple day, yeah. uh, all day mission pass really is the least expensive way. Yeah. And, and again, if you're trying to build a broader group, you know, you come, you want to see this. Here's what the family could do while you're here they have a combined ticket package. Of the Cosmosphere All Day Mission Pass and the Salt Museum. Oh, yeah. And so Where basically, you, you go to down to the museum in the morning, and then you come up and then you do the the, the Cosmosphere for the afternoon. And uh, what's fun in, in the Salt Museum, besides just being in a Salt Museum, uh, most of the Salt Museum has been reworked so the ceilings are really tall. You don't feel enclosed. Uh, the uh, even the, the worst card is the elevator. It's an industrial elevator. It's a double decker, and there's no lights. They do have a little flashlight on their helmet that they'll flip on if you you, you really freak out. But I've, I'm a, a very claustrophobic person, and I have never had a problem with the elevator uh, or any spot in in the in the museum. There are basically three parts of the museum. There are, well, I guess four if you include the gift shop. <laughs> they, have, they have the tram tour, which takes you through and gives you a little bit of history about the rock, hard rock mining, uh, and, uh, and let you scoop up some salt and take with you. Uh, they, they bring a front loader with a huge pile and make a huge pile, and then you can sort through the pile and take. And uh, then uh, uh, I, I've never been able to find the one with an occlusion, the, the seawater inside. But I keep looking. And uh, then uh, they have what they call the dark ride. They took one of the old uh, uh, exhibition railroads and uh, electrified it. And it's pretty much you sit in it and you don't get up while you're in it because the ceiling is that short. <laughs> they didn't expand the ceiling in that area. They, they took, took track from the old uh, uh, belt-fed um, uh, salt removal and rebuild it into this little railroad that they go around. And then they have the history of uh, mining and stuff down there. Uh, they show you this exhibit from about New Mexico and, and how, how salt's important to the world. And then you go into the underground vaults and storage exhibit, which is the reason why the Salt Museum is there, is because they wanted an elevator down to their stuff. <laughs> and they shared. And uh, they store all sorts of things down there, including, I think it's all of MGM's library. And so part of their, uh, part of their exhibit is an old IBM, because they got IBM things down there. And then I got an iPod, up, early iPod up here, and showing how much more capacity the iPod has to this yeah. IBM. And they have the uh, Dorothy II from Twister. Uh, and uh, they have a uh, newspaper uh, with the headline, uh, Lincoln Assassinated, uh, because that's the kind of stuff that's stored down there as well. Because, yeah, it, it is a stable environment down there. It does not change that much. And uh, so you can step stuff down there and it can last a long time. Uh-huh. And then the tornado isn't going to bother it. Uh, and, yeah, I might block the entrance, but it ain't going to bother the stuff. 
And so they have built this huge business. The stuff goes all over the world because of it, it's stored down there. I don't know if it's still there, but at one time the Kansas City Federal Reserve Office was duplicated down there in case of a war. And they could just move everybody down there and, and read why would you need it anymore after that? <laughs> the kind of war they were thinking about. And, and, uh, uh, so, uh, but it was there at, at one time, just desk after desk after desk, office equipment, phones, file cabinets, all the stuff. And uh, now, uh, so you go through there, and when you, at least the last time I went through, they had the governor's Batman suit. Um, uh, no. No, the governor's uh, Mr. Freeze Mr. Freeze costume, George Clooney's Batman suit, and one of the Mr. Smith uh, full-size statues from Matrix. And they had so many Mr. Smiths running around. And uh, uh, and and fake storage, They're just boxes and boxes and stuff on, on cabinet. So you get a history of the underground salt museum and uh, our history of the mining down there and of underground storage. And uh, you know that all of that takes a couple hours to get to get done, and then the, you start out, and they have to give you a safety tour, a safety lecture. They do that on space station too. So. Uh -huh. yeah, and and <laughs> now, now the, there has never been a problem in a salt mine with a fire because there's not basically nothing to burn. <laughs> uh, you know, like coal mining or something like that. But you got to have the same safety lecture, and you got you got to wear the rebreathers, and you got to wear the hard hats. But uh, you know, uh, and and they got to tell you if something happens, go to these exits and stuff. They do have exits. Uh, in fact, the uh, museum didn't open when they uh, planned on because they hadn't done the repelling test down the elevator shaft to rescue people yet. So once that got done, then they were able to, <laughs> and they do rent that space as well. Uh, and uh, so you can do that, and then. Do, do this afterwards as one one ticket price, and, and uh, uh, so if, if people were looking at, well, I got I've got to satisfy the whole family. So if I were to, if we were to first of all just kind of explain the whole thing, mm -hmm. um, and I would somehow be willing to send out another email about volunteers, mm -hmm. would you guys be interested in volunteers in general, yeah. or outreach, or maybe yeah. making some? Yeah. Especially, well, of course, I was already trying to outreach, so yeah, yeah. I'll just, on top of that, yeah, I'd be willing to see if I can find something that I can do. Awesome. And on that note, too, since we're at Alpha Update, we're going to talk about the Yeah. 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 Like I said, I think we just got to get started, do yeah. some stuff, and say, this works, this doesn't work. Okay. We'll just email back and forth and try stuff. I will really start massively focusing on it until the summer. Well, you know, but, I but, but, but see, but, but the thing is, is, you know, it wouldn't take, to me, it doesn't feel like it would take very much time to say, do a, do yeah. two or three scripts. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and then have, because uh, then you can look them over and say, well, this isn't my style. Could you do it this way? Or, yeah, that's okay. But also looking in the terms of how to build a template to build everything around. Because, like I said, if you had 10 scripts, and in the template set, we do this camera angle for segment one. Yeah. Then you set up the camera, you do those two ten pieces. Then you set up the camera for the next ten pieces. That kills a lot of that time involved in getting them done. Yeah. And it wouldn't have to be obviously, as we were throwing out numbers, you know, you, you know, maybe two or three. The, the, the more you can do as a group, the, the, the more you have time savings. Okay. Um, my website. Rest space. Mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of branch on that. There you go. Um, or just like yeah. I like that movie right now. Yeah. <laughs> People, the true space needs to be kicked out. Yes. <laughs> but it still right. works too. That's right. right. Um, but, uh, so I'll just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. My, my and I'll, think of, I'll, I'll, I'll try to think of some uh, uh, scripts as well. My domain is going to be expired, so I'm letting it purposely expire. That way, I think we'll get a better deal and actually decide to pretty much go all in. Yeah. So, you don't want to buy five years. There you go. Uh, five years and just kind of make a couple. 
instead of cost me hundreds of dollars a year, it only cost me hundreds of dollars five years. Yeah. So. And while we were talking about finding things on the internet, you know, you can sit there in an hour and find out history things and stuff, but it would take hours in the library and the right library. I don't know about you guys. I work at Channel. I'm not spending. Mm -hmm. What could change the internet? If you've been on Wikipedia, you yeah. read, read, read an article and it's going to lose another article. Oh, yeah. So you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. Three hours yeah. later. <laughs> exactly. Your, your, your browser history is entirely full of Wikipedia. Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. You learn a lot. Sometimes you learn things you don't need to know. That's right. So there's more things you don't want to know. But, you know. And it's all true. It's on the internet. <laughs> it's, 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 it's on Wikipedia. Oh, oh my God. That's going to be right. <laughs> Anyways, to wrap things up, though, I'll just say, was anybody else interested in helping with that or just kind of seeing where it goes first? Just shoot out an email or something. Okay. 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 Uh, I'll shoot out an email from the space office. I've got any issues with this. Yeah. Anybody wants to buy a big hand? So, uh, and then so talk about dates, you know. You know, we were talking about, well, when are we supposed to be there? And I said, well, why, why are you so interested about what time? Because well, she has a NaNoWriMo thing that she's supposed to be doing today as well. So that would became part of that discussion of uh, just how much of the, uh, you know, no, no matter what time you ever pick, there's always going to be something that messes up somebody. <laughs> uh, overall, is, you guys have said this year, well, no. Yeah, I think so. I think we had great discussions. Um, very good discussions. I mean, we all had a good one. And the Lord went on even though couple got off topic. Yeah. You, you know, cannot not deal with it. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. And this fall, it's not going to work. Yeah, if you were breaking off, if you have enough people where you were having multiple panels, and somebody yeah. would have, that is one aspect of uh, bigger conventions I've been at. You have to have a moderator. Yeah. And that's going to be the person who proposes proposes the thing, and they're going to have to run it the way they want it run. Or just have somebody. Whatever's written on there, cheap. Sure somebody like right. you being able to say time, time, yeah, time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a wonderful yeah, thing last year. Uh, we were at <laughs> our great place, right? Yeah. Because. Uh, last year, the sessions were running about 30 Yeah. Right? yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I thought these sessions were a little long side this time. Sometimes they weren't, but sometimes they weren't. So I think 45 minutes plus 15 minutes. I, that aspect, yeah, I, I, that would fit into more of the things that I'm used to yeah. as well. Because you got to have a, especially if you have multiple things going on, then time to move from one to the other. Exactly. And, then, and we ended up just um, sitting in the chair for a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 tissue breaks are a good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's probably why I thought I'd to get back to the way. Of course, I got stuck with the Play without that, it's just that it's bad. It was being a Right. But, anyways, okay.